Yeah, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, just a little quick video here uh, showing you this is the old air return plenum from my furnace that I replaced last year. Uh, this is uh, all sheet metal. It's uh, roughly one foot by two feet and then about three feet tall so you've got about 20 square feet of uninsulated sheet metal and this used to sit up in my attic and that was the the opening into the hallway where the, the return air for the furnace went and then there was a 14 inch uh, uh, insulated duct that ran out here and then went into the furnace that's over on the side and so this used to be up in the attic like I said with a you know a 12 by 24 inch uh, grill down below and this was open all year round and you can imagine how effective a heat sink this was so in the winter this would get just uh, as cold as the attic and cold air falls so this was a huge uh, source of cold air and I had just never bothered to really look up in the attic at this I kind of assumed it was insulated but I never really looked but it had not a single bit of insulation it was just up there in the attic just like that and uh, so I'll show you what I replaced this with that's a lot more functional and a lot more energy efficient. So this is what I replaced that uh, uninsulated air duct with. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because of the dark uh, color, but that's a, an insulated fiberglass board, uh, an air duct kit that you can build. And then up on, uh, this, so this is in the, uh, in the hallway of my house, there's a swing down grate, which I'll show you a little bit later. And then up above, I was able to go out the side of the plenum with my return air for the furnace. And you can see there's a, uh, a damper in there that I can close off uh, when I'm not using the furnace. And then up in the top, you can see the uh, openings for the uh, whole house fan, so I get two uh, features in one, so that's my uh, whole house fan air intake, and then it's also the furnace air return, cold air return, and that's all insulated up there, it's inch and a half thick fiberglass, so quite uh, energy efficient, and then with this uh, grill, I can do a couple things. I'll show you that in a minute here. So with this grill, it just uh, swings up into, uh, into position there in the ceiling to uh, close that off. And for the summer, I can leave the grate, uh, leave this grill open and uh, use the whole house fan. I have the furnace closed. And then if I needed to use the furnace, I can put in a, uh, a reusable filter and slide that uh, right into this uh, frame and that goes up there and this is the uh, air filter for my furnace. Makes it easy to clean. You just take it out. Uh, this is a reusable filter. You can just uh, wash it out with soap and water, let it dry, and reuse it again. It has a nice metal frame. That's why, one reason I got it, because it fits, fits nicely. I've actually never used it. It's still in the uh, packaging. But since I don't use my furnace, I use the uh, solar heater, I also cut this uh, sheet of uh, reflective foam insulation that I can fit up in there, and I'll show you that. So you can see that uh, 
reflective insulation fits right into the, the frame there. And then I can just shut this up and uh, screw this uh, retainer in place. And now I've got a sealed off insulated uh, air return. If I need to ever do need to turn the furnace on, I just pull that out and slide the uh, filter up in there. But like I say, I haven't had the furnace on for years, so that way I have a little bit more airtight uh, air return. Even though the fiberglass is insulated, it's only, I think, an R4 or 5. It's not a super high insulation, so this flexes the heat back down and also just keeps the air circulation down. So anyway, that's a handy tip if you uh, have a similar setup. Uh, just to uh, seal that off compared to the way it was before that was all open and there was 20 square feet of bare sheet metal up there getting cold transferring heat from the house into the attic and and then dropping cold air down into the house so that uh, that makes a quite a bit of a difference you know that's a was a two square foot hole in my uh, roof or ceiling <laughs> but let the heat out and it was totally uninsulated so you know it just goes to show that you should uh, you know don't assume things are are properly built uh, you know I don't know when that furnace was installed but they had an insulated duct but the sheet metal was uninsulated and I just kind of assumed it should be, you know, who would put uninsulated sheet metal up like that. But I guess back in the day, you didn't worry about that sort of thing. And now I have this and I think it works pretty good. Nice clean system. So open in the summer for whole house fan. I can put the insulation in for the winter to... Uh, seal it up a little more and if I ever need to use the furnace pull that out slide in the filter and I'm turn the furnace on and I'm ready to go of course I have to light the pilot light but uh, just thought I'd pass along that tip in case you have a, a similar setup in your house uh, it might be something to take a look at Anyway, be sure to check out some of my other videos, uh, subscribe to the channel for updates, and thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode.